This is a video overview of SP401P as a portable light. This light is used for mobile, emergency and backup applications. We offer this light in different versions from runway, threshold and edge uh, taxiway obstruction to helipad lighting that uh, we use for uh, FATO area or TLOF area. Uh, light consists of uh, several components. Optical part, casing, antenna, handle. Optical part uh, covers LED optics that uh, has a lifespan of 100,000 hours. Uh, casing has maximum impact uh, protection against mechanical damage. Uh, handle allows us to easily move the light from one place to another. Antenna provides us with a very high uh, uh, wireless range of control and monitoring. How do we control the light? Well, we can use, for example, this uh, handheld controller 101. And this is how we activate menu, medium, and maximum intensity. Now, here you have a small blinking LED. This is indicator of the battery level and also a correct uh, charging connection. On this wall right here, you have information about how to read this indicator. At this wall, you have a charging uh, port. Charging port is used uh, to connect either solar panel or uh, a charger. Charging port is a military grade and allows for multiple usage. At the bottom of the light, you have three elements. One, two, three. One is, um, is pressure stabilizing vent that allows to gases that can be generated by the battery to be released. This way, we equalize pressure between inside of the light and outside. Uh, this is transportation fuse, so we can deactivate it and this way we will uh, stop flowing flow of energy uh, in the light. And here we have emergency button, so in case if we don't have a control unit, we can always activate this emergency button and the light will be activated on the maximum intensity. In order to switch it off, we need to apply special sequence. that protects user against uh, unplanned deactivation of the light just by mistake. Thank you very much.